I'm like, bro, be be for real, be for real, like. Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Anne and I make college and lifestyle sit down everything that I think is fun and enjoyable, I'm gonna show it on my channel and that's on Perry. If you saw my last video, I'm not quitting YouTube, it was just a prank but if you haven't watched it, I'll link it up for you to watch and also if you haven't watched part one of this video, you need to catch up. So I did a, pers a part one of the American culture shocks that I experienced and I'm doing a part two because I think it was fun and I'm gonna share more. I'm probably gonna leave more out but still I'm gonna get right into it. So without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and let's get into the video. So the first thing, not the first thing, another thing that I was shocked when I moved here to America is this one I got it when I started working why I'm working right now the ability or like the chance the opportunity to return stuff when you buy it because in Ghana when you buy items in the store especially most stores are local stores even here some stores you can't return it but most stores you can without with a receipt you can return it and get your money back some of them even if you've used the product the product looks musty if it's broken but you got it, they don't care. So good. If you bought it like in front of them and it broke, some of them won't give you an exchange, like most majority of them, because it's your responsibility after you bought the item. If it's in his hands or her hands that it broke or something, maybe. But if you bought it, took it home, and like here you have 90 days to return some stuff and some people bring stuff especially when i started working there i was like oh, hold on you know you're dead wrong for this because this thing that you bring in has been in your car for a year one time some like brought a return and it was like 10 years old no you can't be prosecuted for that i'm like bro be be for real be for real like what I what what are you saying? That you bought something for ten years has been in your house for ten years. Oh, let me tell you this this funny story. So this person he came in the store and was like, oh, I'm returning because where I work I return stuff. He's like, I'm returning stuff. I'm like, okay, do you have the receipt? He's like, no, I don't have the receipt. I just bought a house and the person no he said he, someone died and he bought the person's house and he found the item in the house so he's coming to return it he doesn't even know if the person bought it at our store or whatever it's like i'm here to return i'm like be be for real sir <laughs> it's it's the definition of giving people free and then they add dumb to it and it becomes free down like bro Just because you, you saw an item in a house you bought doesn't mean you can return it at a store and get money or get credit. People, this lead into my next thing that I was really, really shocked about when I moved here. It was how entitled people can be. It's crazy how entitled people can be. I think it kind of ties up into the superiority complex or like racism a little bit because some of them when they see you as like a black girl or something they feel like you owe them something i don't know where that came from they need to check themselves but some people are so entitled especially people who buy from stores customers period customers are the most entitled people because most stores have this policy that customers are always right no sir you know you're wrong and don't come here with your bs because you are wrong for what you're saying some of the things that people be entitled for it's crazy okay sure you buy a lot of stuff from this store blah 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 blah, blah. they'll be like oh i spent ten thousand dollars here why can't i just return something that's totally blo uh, broken and like bad and non sellable because most of the stuff that we take back it should be able to sell back so we can get back the store can get back the money the search online but people just come in with the most ridiculous stuff and expect us to be all smiley and welcoming like 
go back with your BS. You can't do this. This is totally crazy. But people are so entitled that they feel they need to be served, welcomed, no matter whatever this, whatever, no matter what they say, even if they insult you, sit down and listen to it. I'm like, no, that's not gonna happen. Not under my watch. No, sir. So people are so entitled. Even that also shows because if you're a Ghanaian or if you're probably African or something that live in Africa and some of your relatives live in live abroad or something like that, you would know this. Some of them come back home and become so entitled and I think they learn it from here because the way people be entitled here, I can't even explain it that much but people feel like you owe them something just because they patronize the things that you buy or maybe the service that you provide at a store you feel like they pay you but no even if you don't come here sir i'm gonna get paid because some other customers might come you're not the only person that come in here sorry <laughs> sorry to break it to you but you're not the only person that's coming to the store people will be like oh i'm going to that like where i work there's a rival store and they'll be like oh i'm going to that store i'm like okay <laughs> not my problem <laughs> i must still be paid if you don't come so yeah it's crazy how people can be so entitled it's crazy to me okay the next one is also kind of, this one is weird to me let's say someone steps on your foot or does something wrong or bad to you they'll be like oh my bad yeah i know it's your bad but where is that i'm sorry i apologize where is that part because <laughs> it's lacking people say my bad and completely ignores the i'm sorry part i don't know how my bad translates to i'm sorry my bad is like acknowledging that you're you're doing wrong but where is the apology it's missing miss sir where is the sorry part when i started when i first moved here, like in high school people would be like people would do you that wrong I'm like oh my bad yeah i know it's your bad but where is the sorry where is the i'm sorry part because it's it's lacking it's missing <sighs> we need to find it we need to find that part where where is the my i'm sorry part people still do it but i don't think i really hear that much these days but when i first moved it was like crazy to me i was like why aren't you saying i'm sorry when you did something or you're like my bad that doesn't translate to i'm sorry yeah and the next thing this one i also experienced in high school when i first moved here i wasn't using a phone i wasn't giving a phone so when i went to school and like everybody was using phone it wasn't completely um allowed because some classes they won't let you, like the professors were found upon it but it wasn't that strict that if like in ghana if you're using the phone in high school it's gonna get seized and you might not even get it back and people don't openly use phones but here they use it so that part that first part was a culture shock to me and i remember one time in our english class we were doing something like research and i was the only one that didn't have a phone and when you go to like the teacher and like oh i don't have a phone you're so shocked like what you're in high school and don't have a phone so it's just like if you're in ghana you're like you're flashing your phone it's kind of opposite of what i experienced They're like why don't you have a phone like everybody has a phone and i wouldn't have a phone so like hmm, something is lacking there but that was also kind of a culture shock seeing people openly use phones and not get not, not get much consequences and yeah oh another thing that was a culture shock to me was how high school students like organized parties I wasn't ever invited. <laughs> of course, but 
how they would organize parties and like come back the next day or something we're talking about how they went to a party and this crazy thing happened this crazy thing happened i'm like you guys go to parties you're allowed to go to parties like oh okay <laughs> how is that even allowed but that was also a culture shock to me because uh, when you're in high school in Ghana, do you? Unless maybe we're on a vacation or a break, but not during the school term. And even on vacation or break, it wasn't really something open, right? I don't know. I never even went to parties in Ghana. So parties like school parties or something, or parties organized by friends or stuff like that. So it's like, it was. A little different for me to see another one was also is also the dress and i'm still a little bit shocked about it when i see it. sometimes it's not that common where i live because it's usually mostly cold but when the sun's out the bun's out <laughs> people really be wearing the most especially like girls when it's summertime it's like crazy some people be walking in stores with bikinis on with the most the shortest of shorts I try not to stare because it's a little foreign to me, but still people really were the most, the most around here. Another one was also in high school. Most of my high, my culture shocks were in high school. So, so that's what I was going to be. But this one is also how seniors and maybe juniors and freshmen will take classes together. That was so weird to me when I got, when I, when I first came here, but it made sense when I got into it. Like, you could be a freshman, you'd be taking classes with juniors. I remember when I was a sophomore, I was taking two math classes in high school. I was taking geometry and algebra one, but algebra one was usually for juniors, I believe. Something like that. I'm not sure, but it, either algebra one or algebra two which is i think algebra two which is for juniors but i took it in my sophomore year so i was taking it with juniors in my class and it was just a mix of so the class can have juniors can have seniors like i think that's how it's done in university in ghana, in ghana i don't know i'm not sure either it's that or not or if, if you're in class with this person then you know you're the same grade the same um yeah level with them but here you could be a junior and have the same class as a senior and it, it made sense because you the classes were able to be skipped and all that kind of stuff like you can take some of the classes if you if you have the prerequisites for it so you can take the classes but you can have the same class as seniors you can have the same class as juniors and yeah that's enough i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share we're almost at 600 subscribers and i can't wait for us to go more and yeah thank you